Hey, YouTube. So, I finally finished reading this book. And apparently, the last time, or when I first picked it up, is back in June. I'm a slow reader. Not that I'm a slow reader, but I forget I'm reading the book. I literally set it down for a couple of months, and I'm like, oh, shit. I remember reading this. And I don't even read that, like, like a lot of pages. I just read, like, a few pages, put it down next week, finish it, whatever. Or the book's not even that good for me to read in one setting. It's like, eh, eh it's okay, whatever. So this book, obviously, Talk Talk by T.C. Boyle. Here's the author, some old-ass guy. You know. But the funny thing is, like, I say old-ass guy, but... He kind of has the way, not like, you know, like young people talk and shit like that, like, you know, slang and shit, but, you know, he knows how young people talk to an extent, I guess. Um, so I think that's interesting, you know, but the general story is good, but it just, he spends a lot of time describing everything and it's supposed to be a fast paced thriller, like, you know, someone stole someone's identity. Oh crap! I didn't really uh, tell the tell the backstory of it. Okay, I guess I'll tell the backstory, then I'll give my review. Basically, the backstory is uh, the main character is a deaf woman. You know, she's a, a school teacher, and she obviously duh works f uh, for a school for the deaf. You know, and one day, like uh, her 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 identity has been stolen. You know, so basically, she needs the help of you know, her boyfriend to, to figure out, you know, basically how to, who stole her identity and get it back, and instead of just going to the police, you know, he just says, uh, she just says, like, you know what, instead of going to the police, let's track him down, because apparently we're detectives now, or something, and basically that's the gist of the, 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 the plot. Now, here's the review, yeah, you know, because I skipped the plot. Here's the review, I mean, it's like uh the the thing with with T C Boyle, he goes into descriptive mode and hardcore. He's like described everything, and that's not a problem if you into like descriptive writing and if you think that's great. But just he'll describe something so much, like the thunder or, or the car or this that or the other thing, and you'll end up forget what you're what the hell you're reading. You know, I mean, if it if it's that type of book where it's like the characters are chasing each other, like uh, like across the uh, across the states, across the United States from California to New York or whatever, you want a little quicker pace. You want like, okay, this happened, that happened, okay, blah blah blah. But instead, he's like, oh, look at the roads, look at the weather, look at the car, look at this, look at that, everything that happened, whatever. And it just feels like, okay, I'm looking at a lot of things, but you're not really telling me a lot, you know. Um, and then there's a, the character, a pack, I'm, I'm not gonna be, like, spoilers, because this freaking book came out, like, so many years ago, I'm gonna say about 10 years ago, I guess, more or less, so, if you really want, if you really care about the plot, spoilers, but I don't really see how it's spoilers, it's, it came out 10 years ago, anyway, um, I mean, how he writes the pack, which is the guy that stole her identity, it's a little one-dimensional, I guess, but then again, it makes sense because the guy has so many identities, but it, to me, it makes sense if, like, near the, at the end of the book, you'd be like, uh, this is the reason why he's been doing this, you know, because of, like, whatever. Maybe it did explain it, but I just kind of looked past that or whatever, but it just, the very end, before the epilogue, it just felt like, okay, we just let him go. Why did you leave, uh, let him go? Oh, I didn't think he'd be that much of a problem be that much of a problem, all that chase for nothing, you know, that's basically what you're telling me, it's like, as an author, it's like, uh, she chased him, and, and then, you know, uh, risked her, her boyfriend's job, and risked everything, just to let him go, that's some shitty detective work, if I was a detective, and I told my boss, like, yeah, um, so I've been on a case for however long, and I just let him go, because I think he's a good guy, dude, I'd be fired, you know, that's basically the whole thing, but at the end of the book, at the ep epilogue, you know, um, it, it, it kind of, like, tells what happens to the characters without really, it's kind of, like, Im implying, you know, and that's kind of, like, sweet because uh, the guy um, works at a, you know, thing, um, not one other thing, hold on, 
it basically like a computer uh, you know company I guess that specializes in graphics for movies tells you how much I paid attention to the book <laughs> Uh, yeah, basically, and then it's like uh, when when he's like wor essentially working overtime, he paint paints his face over the character's face, and paints his ex girlfriend's face over the other character's face, and it's kind of like standing side by side in the sunset, which is kind of like literally kind of like um, you know, watching the two characters stand by side in the sunset, you know. Anyway, so my initial thoughts of the book, I mean, like I said, if you like uh, those type of books where it's like um you know, uh, very heavy on descriptive and, and whatever, that's great, but if you're the type of, like, action-paced uh, 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 reader, then I wouldn't necessarily, you know, recommend it, per se. Um, it's not necessarily a bad book. I'll, I'll, I'll give it, like, you know, 3.5 out of 5, which is not bad. It's not, you know, it's, it's, it's mediocre. It's good. It's, it, it's in the, that mediocre range. So, I mean, it's an old ass book, you know, like about ten years ago. So yeah, talk talk, and that is it. <laughs>